number one motivator for a human being is the avoidance of discomfort. Last year, over one million new businesses started in America. By the end of this year, 90% of them will fail. Do you want it to quit? A few times. But I believe there's not only a way to help companies survive. We will get through this, I promise. I hope so. But thrive. I'm Joe DeSena. I became a self-made millionaire with a pool cleaning business while I was in college. I then went on to Wall Street where I started my own trading firm. And in 2010, I created Spark, a challenge that tests people physically and mentally. Spartan is in 45 countries and has changed millions of lives. I believe doing hard things breeds success. I now take that Spartan mentality and transform businesses. If you want to be in the cleaning business, you got to get dirty. Everyone from Fortune 100 companies to the military come here to the farm. 700 acres of hell to confront their core issues head on. If we can't fulfill the orders that we get, then we can't grow as a company. My team and I are committed to helping them overcome their hurdles. The emotional weight of obstacles takes its toll. I identify their business problems. Three million dollars on the line, you forgot the order. Okay. I should have communicated a bit more instead of just yelling at you. And create punishing tasks. And this boat is loaded with holes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Specifically designed to tackle the obstacles standing in their way. This drum, it represents your business. If they listen, we leave nobody behind in business. And push themselves past their limits. <laughs> they'll leave transformed with a fresh mindset and ready to grow their business when they get back home. I feel like we have some really great tools to go back to New York. But if they aren't committed to change. No speaking. It's all about communication. Let us communicate. Their business could fail. It just gets me emotionally. I'm the person you called for help. Oh. No Retreat, Business Bootcamp, new series Tuesday, March 8th, CNBC.